everybody, and happy Earth Day! I'm Shelby from Halifax Public Libraries, and I'm here with you today as part of the Halifax Public Libraries Human Library Project. As I mentioned, it's Earth Day, and one of the best ways we can celebrate together is by doing the three R's. Do you know what they are? That's right! Reduce, reuse, and recycle. And we should do them in that order as well. Today we're going to be focusing on the second R. Do you remember what that was? That's right! Reuse! We're going to be reusing two tin cans and some string from around the house to make our very own tin can telephones. Tin can telephones are pretty neat. They work like this. You take one can and speak into it, and the voice vibrations from your voice travel all the way down the string to the other can, where the person on the other side can hear what you're saying. Why don't we get started? For this project, you're going to need two clean tin cans about the same size. You'll need string and scissors, and you'll also need a hammer, a nail, and some safety glasses. You'll need an adult too, but I couldn't fit an adult on this table. You're going to use some colored pencils, some paper, a glue stick, and a glue gun. You'll also need a marker. So let's grab our can and we'll start by putting a dot in the center of the can. This will be our measurement for where the nail needs to go through the can. Excellent. Now, let's grab your adult, your nail, and your hammer, and we're going to hammer the nail right through the center of the can. Just like this. Perfect. Now, we're gonna get that nail out of there. Awesome, whoop, and that's why we have safety glasses. Next, you're going to do that to the other side of the can and then grab some string and some scissors. You're going to unwind your string. Get about five arm lengths worth of string, I think. Perfect. And snip. There we go. Set that to the side. You're going to take your first can, use the string, and you're going to lower the string right into the can, just like that. Don't stick your hand in the can. You want to make sure that your string comes all the way out instead of sticking your hand in. You're going to flip your can up the right way. Excellent. Perfect. And you're going to give your string a tie. How, how many times you tie your string is really going to depend on what type of string you use. For this project, for my can and my string size, I made two knots. All right, let's stick that back in there. Pull tight. There we go. It's secure. Do that to both sides of your can, and voila! You have got a tin can foam. Ah, uh, but they're kind of boring. Maybe we should decorate them, don't you think? Awesome. Let's grab our paper. So, for this project, I decided to use paper. You could use pencil crayons. Um, and I'm going to use pencil crayons, and I'm going to draw these pretty hearts all over the orange background. I chose hearts because I love the earth, and I want one of my cans to represent that. But like I said, you could use paint, you could use stickers, you could, you could use whatever you have at home to decorate your cans. For my pink piece of paper, I'm going to put stars on my can because way up high above the earth we have the stars looking down at us, so this can is going to have some stars on it. There we go. You can never have too many. Excellent. Now push everything to the side, grab your can back, get an adult, and we're going to get the hot glue. Put some hot glue right down the center, stick your paper on the can, and turn it all the way around. Get your glue gun again, put some glue down, and voila. All right, now let's do the orange can. I'm gonna put my orange paper on there using some hot glue, turn it all the way around. Oh, it's not quite long enough, so I got a smaller piece of paper and uh, I filled in the spot. Perfect. Just like that. And there you have it, friends, your very own tin can telephones. Happy Earth Day from Halifax Public Libraries. I hope you'll join me in giving it a try. Pass your tin can off to a person at home, keep your string tight, and see if it works. Hello, can you hear me? The customer you're calling is unavailable. Please call again later. Hmm, looks like I'm going to have to experiment with a different string. Goodbye!